I know most of you know this, it's a big reason why you're subscribed, but for those of you who don't know or aren't aware, Spin Dad is actually a race car channel. It's just race cars are so expensive, it's hard to make a lot of content with them all the time. Well, this is my 2008 Volkswagen Rabbit. It's a two door hatchback, 2.5 liter engine, five speed transmission automobile. And the last time it had a full feature length vlog dedicated to it was in 2022 when me, my friend Clayton, and Dave at CO Motorsports swapped the stock exhaust that was rotted and falling apart for a 2.5 inch stainless steel exhaust and dynoed the before and after to see what kind of difference it made. And since that video, the Rabbit has been working pretty flawlessly, like it's been totally fine. But now since channel memberships have launched and eight people signed up on day one, we can uh, start working towards fixing that. Roll the intro. So the majority of my experience of working on Volkswagens has been from year 99 and a half down, which means Mark III era down. And I really don't have a lot of experience on the quote unquote newer stuff, even though my car is quite old at this point. But what I did learn by watching a lot of coilover install how-to videos on Mark V's here on YouTube is the rears are going to be a lot easier than the fronts. So I started with the rears to keep morale high. Somewhat unsurprisingly, the rust has uh, made its way through this brake dust shield pretty good, along with whatever part of the body that's supposed to be. It's beginning its work here. I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna maybe pull this liner out and just see if I can make sure all this stuff gets scuffed down and then maybe undercoated, seam sealed rocker guarded, just something to uh, keep it at bay. Well, you know what they say about old crusty Volkswagens. Don't worry about that stuff so much, just put coilovers on. Okay, so the old suspension, this is the old spring, the old struts are here. Both of these are blown up really bad. They're probably leaking through the shock body, honestly. Um, admittedly, it all came out better than I kind of expected it to. I thought I'd have to fight it like a lot harder or I would just give up. Didn't end up having to do that, so I'm pretty hyped about that. These struts, these springs, this is the front coils. Uh, these are the spring perches for the rear. That's what's going on. These are a set of used, uh, old, sitting in my garage for the last three years. FK Street Lines, they're already a really budget coilover, like brand new, which means, which means they're extra bad because they're on a car, probably too low, bouncing around. I imagine the, the damping qualities of these struts are zero at this point. Also, I didn't want to put them on right away because I wanted to see if I could, I just wanted to make sure that the collars on here would move, but I also don't have the FK like wrenches. I thought I did, but I only have FK wrenches from my old Corrado coilovers. It's not quite the right size, so it's hard to actually break these loose, see if they'll move. 
I don't know how low these are. So I don't know what car they came off. I imagine it was probably like, there's not a lot of threads here left. So I can only assume it's quite slammed, which is not really what I'm going for, for this setup. But I'm just gonna put them on, see where it ends up. If it's way too low, I'll ask around for someone who might have like a set of Mark IV, Mark V, Mark VI FK coilover wrenches. And honestly, for the amount of years I've had these coilovers and how long I've procrastinated putting them on, doing the rears was actually pretty quick and pretty painless. All the bolts came apart really well. Everything went back together really well. And as I picked through the process, putting everything back together started to feel a little bit ridiculous for letting this task be so daunting for so long. Honestly, I was pretty surprised by the ride height. I thought it'd be a lot lower. I know springs and everything like to settle, but I, I guess I just sort of expected it to be a lot lower than it was on initial install. Of course, they will settle down a little bit, but uh, yeah, sort of surprising. Right, so staring up at the front now, when I was talking about wanting to try and throw these coilovers on while we were doing the exhaust as well with Dave at CO Motorsports. Dave was less hyped on the idea because he knew how much time doing the exhaust was gonna take and what the probability of problems occurring while doing this as well would be. And the uh, first thing he said was, these three bolts that hold the top strut mount on can be a real annoyance. So I kinda just wanna see, I just wanna see if they will come loose or if they're gonna break, like he kinda mentioned they probably will. Um, Problem is, as I just learned, the wiper arms are pretty stuck on here. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna hit them with a hammer or anything to try and get that. I don't wanna wreck anything, but I remember for a safety a while ago, I actually had to get a strut replaced and I think they did the same thing. I think they just broke my rain tray and zip tied it back together so that they could get to these three bolts. I'm gonna do what they did as well, I guess. And then I think I can access these ones as well without breaking the rain tray. But uh, I really, I really want to get in there and clean up because there's a ton of old leaves and it's really, really gross. So at some point I want to get a wiper arm puller so that I can get the arms out so I can take the rain tray off so I can get in there and clean all that. It's like composting leaves in there right now. Those leaves have been in there for uh, five, six years. They can wait another week. Okay, happy to report these ones cracked loose, no problem. I'm gonna try those ones now. Good. Come on, you stupid bolt. This bolt put up a good fight, but uh, Persistence, persistence got me through. I should really get a new one. Oh, look at this strut's coming out. <laughs> okay, that only took uh, one trip to the store to get an axle bolt, pulling the axle out, putting it on the wrong side, taking the ball joint out so that I could move the axle over to get enough droop to get the original strut out. This clapped out piece of garbage so that I could replace it with a lower clapped out piece of garbage. Now I'm going to paint this in anti-seize.
Now with the fronts installed, it was becoming pretty apparently clear how much lower the car was. I couldn't actually get my jack to go up high enough to get the car off the jack stand it was on. So I had to break out the pieces of wood, put the jack on it, put the car down on a piece of wood, and do all that typical lowered car song and dance just to get the thing back on the ground. But now it's together on its coilovers and it looks like this. And if you're wondering what was it that broke in the process, what needs to be done now that you've started messing with it? Well, that rain tray and those leaves, 